Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be looking at an amulet, a very fiery, very bright amulet of the rising sun. This particular amulet gives you some very interesting effects, uh, most notably uh, the massive fire absorption, and we'll go over that later. Uh, but it is a level 65 amulet, and, uh, and it does have a 2% chance to cast level 20 meteor when struck, which is pretty darn high. Um, I do believe it varies from level 13 to 20. I want to say it's level 13 to 20. Um, it might even be 13 to 19. I don't remember it being level 20, but uh, but it's only one level difference. Uh, let's go by. Let's go to 19 though, because I feel like 19 is uh, is probably the exact level that it supposedly is. Uh, so at level 19, we're looking at 869 fire damage to 930 fire damage, uh, with a fire damage per second of 243 to 267. Uh, we also have the fact that the synergies will affect this. So if we are actually rocking Meteor, we get a 5% damage bonus per level from the two skills Firebolt and Fireball. And if we're building Meteor specifically, uh, it could have a very interesting effect as far as dealing more damage than it was intended. Uh, so we've got uh, five, 5 and 5, so we've got uh, 10 times 20, uh, which is, of course, 200. And then we can take the fire damage on here, which is 869. Uh, let's do an average of 900, it looks like. So 900 plus 200% is a total of 2,700 meteor damage uh, from this particular amulet if you're rocking meteor already, which is certainly a nice little bonus for when you get struck, you just get a free meteor. Um, we also get plus two fire skills on this, which I feel like it would have been a lot better if they had rocked with uh, plus three fire skills instead, because you know most most fire characters are looking for those fire three, three fire skill amulets with, um, with other effects. Uh, we also get 24 to 48 fire damage, which doesn't really help out most melee, you know, sort of caster characters, but it would help out a melee character. Uh, we also get Replenish Life plus 10, which is, uh, is static. And then we get uh, a massive fire absorption of 0 to 74 fire absorb uh, from level 1 to all the way to level 99. It is 0.75 per character level. So at level 99, you're rocking 74, and at level 1, you're rocking nothing. Uh, you can't put this on at level 1, obviously. Um, the lowest that you could ever possibly have on this, because it is a level 65 amulet, is 65 times 0.75, uh, which is going to give you 48.75 fire absorption. Uh, fire absorption is pretty amazing, because how it works is if an attack comes in, for instance, that is 100 fire damage, um, and you have 74 fire absorb, it is going to eat 74 of that damage, and is going to leave basically 26 damage left. You're going to take 26 fire damage to your HP, and then it is going to heal you for another 74, which means you're going to get a net gain from the fire damage that you take. Uh, this amulet actually works surprisingly well to counter hydras. So if you want to farm the uh, council in hell difficulty on a regular basis, um, you can practically just stand there and the hydras will hit you and, and they will even heal you depending on uh, how much damage they're doing, what your resistances are and other factors like that. And, um, it's just a massive amount of absorption. Um, you can even pair it with things like uh, Dwarf Star Ring, um, the uh, uh, Warmouth Gauntlets, um, trying to remember uh, the other Fire Absorb items. There's a couple of them. Uh, but you can pair it with, with a couple other rings and amulets and things like that to give yourself uh, more fire absorption. Um, and, uh, and, and honestly, I think that's what this amulet is really for, is to make you pretty much immune to fire. Uh, absolutely a great amulet for farming the, uh, the, the council with. And uh, the fire skills, of course, can be useful to multiple characters. Uh, you could utilize the fire skills on a fire druid, a fire sorceress. Um, you could also utilize them on other characters that have fire skills. Anything that is considered a fire skill will get a bonus to this. Uh, Corpus Explosion will get a bonus to this. Uh, fire Golem. Um, you know, uh, even uh, Vengeance on the Paladin and Holy Fire will get a bonus from this. So uh, maybe if you were a Holy Fire Paladin, that would be kind of an interesting choice. Ooh, salt in the wound, huh? It was a little, it's, it's been a little bit too soon since they nerfed the crap out of the Holy Fire Valley. <laughs> my bad, my bad. 
Now, this particular amulet uh, doesn't have amazing uses on non-fire characters, and that's unfortunate. Um, and I really wish it did have plus three to fire skills, but it doesn't. Uh, let's take a look and see where we could potentially find this amulet uh, from, and, uh, and we'll get an idea of uh, where we could farm. So uh, we got the Rising Sun Amulet here, and uh, we're going to look at bosses first, and we're going to look at Players 1 with uh, an MF of 150%. And uh, we're going to sort by probability. And it uh, looks like we have here uh, Bale in Nightmare Difficulty and Bale in Hell. Both have the highest chance. We also have Diablo in Hell and Mephisto in Hell. So interesting there. And then it just kind of gets progressively worse from that point on. Uh, we also have Super Uniques. Let's take a look at Super Uniques. And pretty terrible probabilities on these super uniques. Um, but it looks to me like the Cow King in Hell might be your best choice. Or Hephaesto the Armorer. Um, the Countess also has a decent chance if you're farming the Countess specifically. Although she's not very easy to get to. Uh, Radamant is also not very easy to get to. Uh, Neelithak is actually kind of easy to get to. Although he's a little bit of a pain in the butt to kill. And the Summoner is a pain in the butt to get to. All these guys are a pain in the butt to get to. Um... I mean, it does look like Thresh Socket has a has a one forty four thousand chance. That's awful. That is absolutely awful. I do know that uh, amulets and rings and stuff like that tend to be relatively hard to find, and it, and it's not necessarily because they don't drop very often. I mean, amulets and rings drop all the time. The problem is, is that there's so many different amulets and rings that you can potentially find. Um, when, when a unique amulet drops, what unique amulet is it? Is it a high lords? Is it a uh, is it a Nozakon relic? Is it a um, you know? Is it a I, I, uh, God bless it? I can't remember the names all of a sudden. Is it a, a high lords wrath? Is it a uh, you know you know what is it going to be specifically? That's the question. And uh, and a lot of the times it ends up being a crappy amulet that you don't want. Um, and that's kind of where we end up with the uh, the rising sun amulet is that it doesn't necessarily matter that a unique amulet drops because there's no guarantee that it's going to be this particular amulet. Um, and you might not want this particular amulet. Maybe you want a High Lord's Wrath. Maybe you want a uh, Mara's Kaleidoscope. Um, and this is the amulet that you end up with. I mean, as far as uh, fire absorption goes, it certainly is an amazing one. And, uh, and I wouldn't shake my head at having one of these in my stash, sp specifically for situations where you're in trouble. Um, I actually utilized one of these myself during an Uber run where I was completely and utterly surrounded by uh, Diablo's minions, the uh, Pit Lords. And they were literally just infernoing me to death. I was get literally getting hit by like 30 or 40 different infernos from multiple angles, and I was stuck in the middle. I couldn't get out, and I was just trying to finish off Diablo, and I was slowly and surely dying, and I was like, you know what, let me throw on a Rising Sun amulet, and I did, and believe it or not, it saved my life in that particular situation, so absolutely amazing, um, and of course, it does matter if you have crappy resistances, so if you're going to utilize fire absorption, you need good resistances to go along with it, so keep that in mind. Uh, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, even when it's at the butt crack of dawn in the morning and the sun is rising. And as always, keep watching.